Hello. Okay. I'm going to make this a pretty quick video. Um, I did exactly what is so frowned upon on Instagram. And I posted a picture. I don't even know what picture it was. It was some random picture of me somewhere. And I got a comment from um, one of those brands brands and from a secondary account it said please dm for a collab and so i looked and it was like a secondary account clearly and so i dm'd them you know playing along and they said hello if you're interested in collaborating dm our main account so the account that messaged me, or that commented, was called pinkpineapple.lovey. So I messaged them. So I had to go to their real account, which is pinkpineapple.love. So I won't read the whole thing out, but essentially, I was like, th this is the thing that brands do over and over and over, is these brands, smaller brands, I think, want ambassadors where they're not giving you anything for free. You have to buy something and they will give you a discount code for your friends and family to buy stuff. Um, and you'll buy you you buy the product at a discount. So, um, they were like, "Thanks for reaching out. We've been looking for people to collab with. We can offer you fifty percent off everything in our store, and you can become an ambassador, and you'll get thirty percent commission for people who use your ambassador code." Blah blah blah. Long story short, I look at their Instagram and. You know, it's bait, so it's bathing suits, they. Um, hmm, I don't really go to the pool that much. I don't really go to the beach that much, but whatever. Um, I, hey, I could, I use a one piece. So, I looked at their one pieces. So, their bathing suits are expensive. So, it's good that, like, they're giving, they're letting you buy their product since you're gonna be an ambassador at a discount um and then you're getting a discount code for your followers so <laughs> i responded i was like do you offer something like sending me stuff and pay me to post like a sponsorship or an ad and they said unfortunately we can't send free items um we're working for an influencer program um but we're working for an influencer program like that, but it isn't quite ready. Of course it's not ready yet. Um, plus, they're not gonna pay someone with, they're not gonna pay someone like me. I have oh, 1,300 followers, which is a nothing. So yeah, they sent me the link to their store, a pink pineapple. Whoa. Pink pineapple. Um, pink pineapple, and they were like, have you found anything yet? So I sent them what I have, and they were like, here's the discount code, and then I actually, they said, because they first they said 50% off, and then later they were like 60% off, and then when they sent me the code, it was only for 50% off, so I was like, uh, what about 60% off? and then they gave me the 60% off. I said I ordered it, then they gave me their, or my code um, for people to get um, a discount. My ambassador code is Suzy underscore 25. Um, and then I sent them my PayPal information, which um, I don't think is dangerous or anything. It's like people sending their Venmo or whatever, or Cash App. It's like, um, 
I don't, I mean, it's just whatever, so people can send you money. So they were like, be advised it usually takes 20 to 25 business days to deliver. Um, and because of a list of things, peak season, blah, blah, blah. Um, this was on July 6th. I ordered it and I got it in the mail July, I think 30th or 29th. It wasn't yesterday, it was the day before I think. Um, so yeah. So, I got it in the mail. I'm pretty sure it has to be it. So, I didn't do much research into the company, except their bathing suits are expensive. It takes a long time to ship. <laughs> the return address is who, uh, who when the heg in Kentucky? Like, I don't like, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. It's probably made in China. Um, or whatever. Um, and yeah. So basically, I think, I don't know. I think it's like one of those, comp like, one of those companies that sell, okay, like, Kind of like when people have a boutique or something, you're, you have a company that sells like clothes or whatever, but um, you, who is it? you're buying from a manufacturer and then you're di the distributor or something like that. I get that confused, but like a distrib, like they're a distributor from a manufacturer. I think that's it. So yeah. I think I want to say they are probably like not sustainable, uh, just like cheap, cheaply made. I don't know, but we'll see. I guess we'll find out. So I ordered a one piece because, yeah, I mean, anyone can wear any bathing suit they want. Yeah. Okay, I ordered it in an XL, and it's, what is it called? Ella Ruffles, E-L-L-A Ruffles. So, at first glance, the coloring is not the same as on the website. But, let's see. Here it is. So I figure with the, so first the back was appealing because it's not too open. The bra, okay, the bra inside is good, big padding. I figured the ruffle down the middle would be pretty appealing. Um, the cut looks interesting, uh, yeah. Okay, so the material, right off the bat, this is the material. It's double layered. I mean, there's a lining all the way, all the way down. It feels, it feels like nice quality, I guess. Yeah, like the straps are good, good quality, like, Okay, maybe this is a bathing suit worth $90. So, I think the straps need to be looser. Okay, so, here we go. Wow, okay. Okay, so the quality feels nice. It's like thick. I think it's how low cut it is that is the issue. Also, there's this in the front, which is like, I don't know where it's going. So there's a little extra fabric in the front, 
This is an XL again. Um, but yeah. I don't think they had a size larger than an XL also, by the way, which. So, okay, it has a booty coverage. It was, booty coverage is kind of minimal. I mean, this is my body embracing my body, but I don't think it flatters my body. I will say that. It does not flatter my body. I mean, when I step back like this, sure, but from a side, Obviously this is revealing. Like I wouldn't wear this to like a family pool day. <laughs> um when I like when I look at it like this, like cool, like may I go to the beach with like or like I don't know, like maybe a pool party. I don't know, it depends who's there, I guess, but um yeah, I mean it's not flattering my body plus the back I don't know the back the back isn't terrible it's the sides and like holding up my breasts like I don't know I also don't know if you can get in anywhere and move the breast pads, the boot pads. So pulling it up. I don't know. I don't know. I thought, I think the, this definitely like helps in my midsection. That's the area where for me is like, eh? The boot pads are like folded up and like, but I don't wanna like check that out like now. Um, I don't know. So, okay. Quality, the quality feels nice. It, it, as far as like, did, like out like fabric and stuff, it's a good quality. Pro, like pro is quality. Okay, cons. And I don't know if this is about the size or not, but okay, so there's like this little extra fabric that I was showing. Like, like, and you don't know like where to put, like you can pull it up or you can like pull it down, but there's like awkward extra fabric. Con is low cut. Um, con doesn't like keep up. I think the con, I think maybe straps in general. I don't know what it would be like a, a, if I fixed these. Um, yeah, con is just, it doesn't really flatter my body. Pro, I like, I like the flaps or whatever. Um, con is kind of the color, like, the color, this is, I don't know, on the site, the yellow looks a little more sunshine yellow, and this is more mustard yellow. Um, I just think my boobs might be a little too big. Um, that might be it. I might have to go in and try and fix the pads. But yeah, so like, I, I, I realize a bathing suit is gonna be tight. I mean, that's kind of what a bathing suit is. It's just that, 
So, like this is the top that I normally wear, like my one bathing suit. And it just, I don't know, it flatters me a little better, I guess, but obviously like from this side, when you're looking from this side, obviously, you can, I mean, if you're wearing something form-fitting, like a bathing suit, then, yeah. But, it's not, I don't know, I, we are our own worst critic, obviously. We are our own worst critic. I have these shorts from Target that I got. They are like, what do you call them? Um, you know, the paper sack shorts, kind of. I wonder, huh, I'm not mad about this. Now, it's revealing, but hey. Sure, I still get the like body waist definition. Because it's in the worst part of my body. But I mean, and this is kind of awkward to have like hanging out, but it's not terrible. So, good idea. Good idea, Susie. Um, maybe as a cut, like if I were going to wear this, maybe I'd wear these as like a cover up. Maybe it's meant to be pulled up more. The side boob side, I think, the, and then the back sometimes feels like, okay, the back gives coverage, but like I need to pull it up. Okay, so. Final verdict. I I think the quality is actually good for where it came from, whatever. The quality is good. The color is good. The style is okay. I think it's it's very revealing. I mean, you can tell in the picture too. It's revealing. I mean, people wear revealing bathing suits sometimes, whatever. The bottom is not as revealing. Um, it's really the top. The bottom is like, you know, not very cheeky or fronty, whatever. So the style is good. It's, I think it's, pretty, it's good. Especially, especially the ruffle aspect. If it didn't, if it didn't have the ruffles and it was just, this, I mean, it would be kind of boring. I like the ruffles. So, okay, color is eight out of 10. Style is nine out of 10. I like the style. I mean, maybe there's some places where I would want to wear a revealing bathing suit. Um, I just, if I actually went to the pool or the beach. So nine out of 10 for style. I mean, the straps are good quality. The, like I said, this is good quality. The the boot, if I can, once I fix the pads in the boob, that's gonna be fine. It's all, I mean, nine out of 10 quality. What, like, like fit would be seven out of 10? It, 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 between this and then the, the side, it's those two things. Maybe six out of 10 for the like fit or yeah, that. So fit, color, quality, style, between those, oh, well price, I mean I got 60% off so it was $36 by the way, but yeah. Um, so $36, so I mean, you could probably DM them and ask if you want to be an ambassador and just get a bathing suit for $36. But it's pretty good quality for the, like, someone would pay $90 full price for this. I mean, I, I don't know. You'd be paying $90 
regularly, but like it's online and you're waiting possibly a month. There are so many places where you can get an amazing quality bathing suit, not online, like in a store for amazing quality, good style, cute, fits right, and get it right away and get it, you can get it right away and for cheaper. So, okay. Quality, nine out of 10. Style, nine out of 10. Um, fit is, fit was, what, seven out of 10 or six out of 10? One of those. Color was eight out of 10. Um, what quality style fit color um and then i guess the other thing would be accessibility and that's a big fat like one out of ten because you're buying online it takes forever to get here um price is a zero out of ten unless you price for what you're getting and how you're getting it and when you're getting it is zero out of ten unless they find you on instagram and they decide to dm you to collab then it could be a like for me how i got it it would bring it up to a five out of ten because the price went way down but i got it like for forever or after forever so yes um, overall, with all those factors in place, okay, if I weren't DM'd and I were buying it for $90, like I found it online, if I weren't DM'd and then I got this and opened it, I'd do like a 6.5 or 7 out of 10 with all of the factors. But for what I paid and being DM'd, um, and DMing, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. Um, because I don't care that it took that long. I don't need a bathing suit right now. But even, and yeah, I don't need a bathing suit right now. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Um, let me know what you think. Have you done this? Have you been DM'd like this? I'm sure you have. Um, I wish I like spent longer on this video, honestly, or like sat down properly and whatever, but this is what it is. Maybe I'll do a review, like more of a review after. I will say the, the pads really do need some fixing. So yeah, anyway. Hmm. Sorry for the revealing, the revealing stuff, but anyway, um, thanks for watching and I will talk to you later. Okay. Bye.